guys so today I thought that I would share with you all my new organization style that I'm going to be doing for all my washi tapes so as you can see majority of my washi tapes are in this really cute Gudetama basket it's cute as in I mean it doesn't take up much space and they all fit in there usually it's a lot more organized than this but I've been using them the only issue is that as you can see, even if I take out these top ones here that are in the boxes, it's really hard to tell what I have in there and find them easily. So I really want to sort it out and I had been looking at all different kinds of organization. I used to have all my favorite ones in, I'll grab it and show you in this acrylic drawer here so as you can see I've got my pens in it at the moment so I actually sit it this way so you can see them all like this and I have them all in kind of color groups I used to have my favorite washies in here um, like my really special ones but it just doesn't fit that many and obviously when I'd get more ones that I really liked in that I was running out of space in them so I decided to stop using this this is from Muji by the way um, they're pretty expensive it's really sturdy really heavy and it kind of was just awkward to have them in then I got some of these as you can see here I'm sorry as well for the lighting, um, the sun just keeps going in and out behind clouds so it's really difficult. But I really like this idea, I have three of them and I put all my skinny washies into two other ones and then I have these ones in one. It's really good but in the middle ones it's super difficult to like get the tape up basically, especially um, with the skinnier ones, it was really difficult to grab them out so as much as I thought this idea would be good, it isn't unless you put like, you know, like four in type thing because then you can have enough space between to get your fingers in between. So I have this one, I've already dismantled it but all these ones fit into one and then I had another one here. And that also just wasn't working for me how I wanted it to. So I needed a new storage idea. So I was looking around online and I found these. So it is an A4 file box from Daiso. So it was 200 yen and it's really big as you can see. And so I got two of them and I thought I would give this a go for storing them because I'll be able to see looking down at all of them basically. And I'm not a big fan of them because here like it'll roll around really easily. So I have this, whoop, I have this non, like um, slip stuff that I used in my kitchen so I'm going to cut this to fit in nicely and that should prevent them from rolling around as much so I'm going to do that and then we're going to start sorting out and filling them in. Alright there we go so that looks like it's a good size and it is lifting up a little bit so I am just going to stick a little bit of tape down in the corners just to help hold it because it's not completely flat. There we go. So there is one. I'm going to do it to the other and then we will start sorting out all my washies.
so I somewhat have them sorted. So in here I've got all my like character ones. So there's Pokemon, Spirited Away, One Piece, uh, Disney. All those ones are in here. And then off to the side I've got piles of I've got piles of food ones and then some Japanese style um, and then you know animals and just patterns in general so I'm going to I think I'm going to have one that's just dedicated mainly for um, maybe the animals and characters and then the other one will be everything else so I'm gonna start putting them all away So one thing that you guys are probably noticing is that they do roll so I probably will get some foam board and just make some little barriers but I do just want to see how many they fit so I'm going to ignore the rolling as best I can at the moment and then um, work out just how many we can actually fit in here. So as you can see, I probably could fit all of my washies into like one at the moment actually. Um, so they do hold quite a bit. I'm going to just put another couple along here just to see how many rows we can actually get. So I could probably fit another two in comfortably and then obviously if I do put the spaces in there will be like the perfect space between them to have them all fit snugly and nice. So I'm definitely going to do that. I actually have some cardboard laying around so I might cut some cardboard up instead and put them in because I feel like that's going to do just as good of a job and I don't have to buy anything. Alright, so I am back and as you can see I have created these little dividers. Um, I had an Amazon box, as you can see here, that I cut up the inside like flaps so actually the perfect size for the box. So I cut them up but because they were a little bit scrappy and gross I just have some origami paper and I just covered them in some origami paper to make them a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So let's do this. And as you can see, it's perfect. It'll stop them from wobbling. And it is a little bit higher because when the lid goes on, it will stop it. Perfect. Alright, so here it is. As you can see, there's still plenty of room in this box here. Now, I am going to put my thin washies down this side here because there is the space. Um, I might maybe, if I ever invest in like a hot glue gun, it would probably be a lot better if I glued these down just to make them a little bit sturdier. But it's doing what I want it to do right now, so I don't really care enough. Perfect, so this is box one all finished. And now we have got box two. 
two. So this one I put everything in before, so I'm just going to take everything out and put in our dividers. And here is the second one so I ended up taking these six out of this box here so then they're all together I am seriously considering taking them out of this one as well but for the moment I kind of want to leave it in there I may change my mind I could probably just like shove it in hmm let's try that I don't think it'll close though if I do that is the only issue let's take these ones out shove that in there oh it's not too much taller shove these ones here it's only a little bit taller than the barriers that I created so let's see yeah there we go that works I can happily leave that there I might take that plastic bit off at least so I am super happy. As you can see, I've still got some space to grow my collection. And obviously over in this one as well, there's a whole bunch of space. So I am pretty darn happy. So there we have it. There is my washi collection that now I can happily look down and see all my washies so it will be a lot easier when I'm crafting. They also don't take up too much space because they stack on top of each other like so. And I mean it only cost me 400 yen to store it all and I'm super happy with that. So that was my washi um, <laughs> organization I guess I don't know I hope you guys enjoyed this video It's a little bit different but I thought I would show you all that this is now how I'm going to organize it if you guys did enjoy this video please do give it a huge thumbs up it really lets me know that you enjoy this kind of content and I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in my next video bye guys I did just quickly want to show that I do have this little tin here that has all my holiday themed washies in it. So there's a whole bunch of Halloween and some Christmas ones as well. So I have these ones and I just put them in this tin because I don't need access to them all year round so I don't need to see them all year round either. So they're all in here, but with the space that is left, I could fit them all into that one if I did want to. So, yep, just thought I would show you guys this one as well.